car audio, etc. is proudly supported by Auto Sound and Security. Good morning guys, how's it going? James here from Caradio etc. Final day of working on the Subaru Legacy, hopefully. Sounding good. Um, I've got the driver's door cut off and soon I'll take the passengers one off. As, as I explained in yesterday's video, I tried to demo it to you but you guys couldn't really hear it. It's very, very subtle. But um, on the base notes, there's just a tiny little bit of uh, rattle coming from the down near the woofer area. But it's definitely nothing to do with loose things in the car. I'm pretty sure it's the membrane actually coming out and potentially hitting on something in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do every, anything I can do that will hopefully fix the issue. Oh, and the other thing is the reason the whole stereo is going and everything is because I'm, as I say, running in the speakers. I want to get them a bit of a wearing period so that I can get them a bit of a, uh, a, a blast and a listen before it goes away and compare it to my car because, as I said, it's got pretty much the same sound system. So what I'm going to do, using the power file, is anything in here that is sticking up. So this whole sort of edgy thing here which is sticking up, maybe some of that, I'm not sure, I'm going to try and carve down anything that I can which is A, loose and sitting up out of the way. And uh, what I'll also do after I've done that is I'm going to stick some foam, sort of some nice thin foam over top of anything that is, you know, jutting out like that so that there is no nasty, no hard connection between the speaker and this because if anything is coming too close to the door then I want it to be touching on something nice and soft and undamaging. But other than that, there's not much else I can do because those woofers are literally as deep in as they possibly can go before they hit the window. So if this doesn't fix the issue, then uh, I'll just have to know for next time that the, AS, that the Focal Flax three ways don't fully fit in here without coming in contact with something. But I've got those woofers in so, so, like, as deep as they possibly can be right next to the window. So, let's get the power foil on this and uh, take some of this plastic off and stick some foam on it and we'll see how we go. Okay guys, so it's taken a couple of tries of putting the door card back on the door and taking it off again, but I think I've fix the problem, I just had to listen and it seems to have gone away for this door. So you saw I carved a whole lot of the plastic out of the way and then what I've gone and done is I started by sticking some of this sort of tall vertical foam, two strips of it as you can see, one, two, to go all the way around there and then I carved some more plastic out of the way and then I put some of these foamy strips one on top of everything there, one there, and then one on top of these two strips just kind of hold them in place. And uh, I just put the door card back on the car, play the song, and yes, it has definitely fixed it because the rattle is totally gone from this door but still remains on the other one. So I think I've fixed the problem with this door anyway, and I have a solution. That's good. So, yeah, problem solved. Put this door card back on, and then do the other one, and then continue letting them run in for the day. There we go guys, the uh, car is back together. I've just double checked all of its functions and everything are working. Battery is on the charge, stereo is playing. Running the system in and I will catch you guys later on today. And I'm going to play some music in this car and then play it in my car. And I'm gonna do obviously the same songs, the same sound settings, everything like that. All I'm testing to, this is just for shits and gigs, all I'm testing to do is see does one of the cars naturally sound better than the other when you put the same sound system in it essentially you know like um, really the only major difference is that my tweeters are in these pods facing me 
and my mid ranges are on top of the dash, whereas all, all of his speakers are in the doors firing towards the opposite doors. So that's just a, a minor acoustic difference. And I don't know, just thought it'd be interesting since it's the exact same speaker setup and quintessentially the same amp. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later on. Later. Okay guys, so I'm about to do the, uh, the audio system face off, or if you want to call it that. It's just, I'm just going to, you know, sit in both of them, play the same songs with the same settings on, listen and honestly give my opinion. I'm thinking it's going to sound very, very similar, but I just want to, it's just, just because he got the exact same sound system as me, I thought it'd be interesting to see what it sounds like different. I'm just going to go inside here because this wind out here is annoying me. But, um, so sound system wise, both of these cars in the front doors have Focal Flex, PS165F3, this is the customer's car, tweeter, mid-range, mid-base on both sides. And in my car, the tweeter is on this custom pod that I have built, the mid-range is up on the top of the dash there in the factory tweeter location, and then the mid-base is in this factory door location. In the back doors, they both have Focal PC165F, which is the Focal Flex two-way coaxial, so they're both in pretty much the exact same location. This is the fourth generation down here. And the fifth generation down here. By the way guys, um, specifically speaking, the differences between these two cars, so this one is my one on the right, his is the grey, mine is the bluey silver. So this is a 2004 Subaru Legacy. 3.0 R, so this one has actually got the 3 litre all wheel drive um, in it, and my one is a 2.5 I, so it's a 2.5 litre, it's also all wheel drive, it's a 2014, fourth generation of Legacy, fifth generation. Powering the speakers, they've both got Rockford Fosgate micro power amplifiers, the fourth generation, or the customer's car, has it under the seat here, he's got a Rockford Fosgate T400 X4AD, I'll, sh I'll stick a picture in here. My one has the T1000 X5AD, which is exactly the same amplifier, but it also has a subwoofer channel built into it, so it's a five channel. And there is my amplifier there, the five channel. T1000 X5AD. My crossovers are over here, his crossovers, are mounted next to his amplifier under the passenger seat. Stereo wise, the fourth generation, the customer's car, has the Pioneer AVH Z5050BT, which is the successor or the newer model of the stereo in my car, which is the Pioneer AVH X8850BT. Personally, I like the 8850BT more than I like the new Z5050s, which is why I haven't upgraded. But from looking at them in the sound settings, all the sound settings are exactly the same, except for maybe two things. I think they put a loud filter in those now, as well as you can load and save um, audio settings to like an external storage device, whereas you couldn't do that on my one. So that is the sound system there, pretty much the exact same hardware um, with regards to my amplifier being different. Obviously I'm not going to do this test with my subwoofer running. I'm going to have my subwoofer, whoops, wrong one, Subwoofer is off. Subwoofer off. Also, this is all the way down. So what I'm going to do is play some songs, and I'm going to try and play YouTube-friendly songs as well, so I don't get copyright. I'm going to play them in my car first for the control listening test, and then I'm going to switch over to the customer's car, the fourth generation, and have a listen with the same songs in his car, and see what I like better. One thing I need to do is go into my crossover settings. Now I don't think my crossover can go quite as low as his, no it can't. So that's one thing they did change, they put better crossovers in the newer stereo, and by better I just mean they have more adjustability, not necessarily better quality. So what I'm actually going to do, I think I'll just run filters off. Yep, I'm just gonna run full range. So on my one I normally have it set to 50 on the front and 63 on the rear. I'm just gonna turn the high pass off and the high pass off for my one. And on the customer's one, subwoofer is also off because he doesn't have one. Crossover, high pass off, 
help us off. I'm not going to be blasting it terribly loudly, but I will. This will only be for a short period that they'll be running full range, so I will put the filters all back on once I'm do done with this test. Time alignment has been done in both of them for the driver's position, so that's where I'm going to sit. And this needs to adjust. That's a bit better. There we go. And that's pretty much everything. The sound settings are now all the same as one another. Yep. Just specification wise, in case you were wondering, the Rockford Fosgate T400 X4 AD, which is the amplifier in this car, puts out four times 100 watts RMS at four ohms. And the amplifier in my car, the T1000 X5 AD, puts out four times 100 watts RMS at four ohms and 600 watts RMS times one at two and one ohms. But that's the subwoofer channel, which I'm not using for this test. So this is going to be only using the speakers. By the way, sorry, I forgot to mention, so obviously if you've been watching along and you know my car, this car and my car have been completely sound deadened. Um, my car completely top to bottom, even the roof and the floor and everything. This car, I've just done all the doors. But that's all that's really going to matter in this test anyway, because it's a stationary test. The main reason I did the roof and the floor was to cut out more road noise, but we're not driving when we're doing this test, so that doesn't make a difference. But all of the doors have got Focal Bam on the outer skin. My car has Dynamat on the inner skin. This car has Rockford Fosgate dead skin on the inner skin. From working with both of them now, I'd say they're both pretty much the same product. So I don't think that's going to make any difference. So that's enough talking about it. I think let's get into testing. I'm just going to turn the AC on in my car because it is freaking hot in, out in here. The car's been sitting in the sun all day. So let's switch over to Bluetooth audio. Now I need to go into... Oh, that's a song. So I'll play each song, and in between each song, I'm going to switch from this car to that car because I want to hear the difference of each song. I'm going to play some different things, a couple of different things. First thing I'm going to play Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Okay, so this is kind of like a jazzy sort of song. I'm going to go up to 25. Start, sounds about the same. I suppose I should expect that, shouldn't I? Uh, let's try a different song. Okay, let's try this one. This is Invisible.
Yeah, just listen to it. Makane. Such a tough pick, like they're so similar. I was wondering if having the mid ranges in different locations and having the tweeters at angled in different ways would make much difference to the high and the mid range. I really don't know, if, I don't think it has. I think I was wondering if maybe my mid ranges were going to be a lot louder since they're facing a windscreen and maybe even the tweeters as well since they're facing directly at me and his aren't. But it was really, really close. There was, I think, a bit of difference in bass, and I, I mean, I'm you want it to be this result, don't, don't you? I think my one does sound a bit better his was his was really loud and good fun i know he'll be happy with it hearing them side by side i think my car might just have that little bit more now what frequency ish sort of would it be it might be a little bit more in the sort of higher mid bass range the stuff that really kind of goes through your chest and um gets you like makes you feel like you're in the music rather than just listening to two really loud speakers oh i'm really happy about that it's so, like literally there's such a tiny difference and all it really is that makes the difference is maybe i don't think the shape would have anything to do with it but the size of the doors it probably does have something to do with it these guys are looking at me like what the fuck are you doing and guys gone into our showroom with some chinese looking stereo we're gonna be like nope <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, my front doors, yeah, from looking at them, are bigger. That might be part of it. Maybe the front, because I've always thought that my back doors put out more bass than my front ones, but maybe the front ones resonate a lot better with that sort of mid bassy rumbly sound as opposed to the low 80 hertz hit. I don't know. You would really need a, like a real high grade RTA to be able to really analyze the difference between these two cars with some pick noise, but um, I don't know. It's so close. I should expect it to be close. They're tuned both in the exact same way and they had the exact same speakers and amplifier and pretty much stereo. But I just I just wanted to listen just in case maybe the different speaker placement would make a difference. But I don't think it has. Hmm. I feel like in his car it's much more apparent that you've got like a left and right sort of stereo. Whereas my one, maybe I've got it tuned this way but I just can't tell. My one I feel like I'm it's gonna be real hard to explain. You would need like a, mm, you'd need ex have to experience this to know what I'm talking about. But in my car, it just sounds like the music is coming from with, with inside your head. You can't tell that it's coming from speakers, left or right or wherever. In his car, you kind of can. You can hear like the sounds clearly coming from the doors, like shooting out from the right and left. Whereas in my car, in this car I feel like it's more just all around me and I'm more immersed in it which is how I like it some people really really like a stereo setup or a 2.1 with like stereo in the front and a subwoofer in the back some people really really like that which is why Pioneer came out with their network mode for highs um, front mid bass and subwoofer output but some people like me prefer the more immersive sound where it sounds like sound is coming from literally every 360 degrees and you are smack dab in the middle of it all that's how I like my sound, I like surround. Some people, as I say, prefer stereo. Some people, I think these people are weird, 
but some people prefer rear stereo, like only sound coming from the parcel tray, which I think is makes no sense. But um, because your ears are designed to perceive sound that is in front of you, which is because your eyes are facing that way. But anyway, I'm gonna be just straight up and honest. I like the sound of my car better, which is good because I'd be annoyed if I liked that one better. But it's all good. I like the sound of my car better. It's literally, it's really not that much. He's not getting like a rough deal or anything like that. I think maybe just the size of my front doors, which are bigger, maybe just that that little size difference. Let's see. So the backs of the doors are pretty much in line with each other, but the fronts, oh, my one might be just a wee bit further forward than his. From here, my doors look bigger. They're taller, that's what it is. Yeah, my doors are definitely taller. So that must just have some tiny amount of difference in the way bass is produced in the car. Oh well, that was fun. Long story short, exact same sound system in my car in the fourth generation, sorry, in the fifth generation legacy versus in the fourth. Personally, I think it sounds better in the fourth, in the fifth better. Yes. And that was also for you guys, my demo of how his car sounded after all of this installing stuff. Um, there'll be videos for the install of this gear, I'm sure popping up down the right hand side on your suggested or if you're on a mobile down below here. So check some of those out. I will also link in the um, in the card at the end, or sorry, the annotation, whatever you want to call it. I'll, I'll link the uh, playlist for the install of all the gear into my car. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you've enjoyed the install on this Legacy. I certainly have, it's been real good fun to do the same sound system again. Apart from trying to fit those woofers in the front doors. That was just, ugh, didn't like it, but I got it done. So, thank you for watching today's video, guys. Tomorrow, Grant and I will be doing a sim simple enough install into this, uh, I don't think it's that old, I think it's like, 2007 Nissan Navara. This is like the farmy style Nissan Navara rather than the big, you know, the big flash ute with plastic everywhere. So this one we're installing a Sony AX, XAV AX200 BT as the stereo, a set of Type R components, and we're installing an aerial when that shows up sometime tomorrow. So that'll be tomorrow's video. Just a nice and simple and easy job for once, which is good for us. So, if you're interested, subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload that video. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Choose to be happy, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Kakatea.